just as the author of How Do I Find the Right Job? David Bowman. Welcome. What is the most important step that these husbands need to take to find the right job? So, well, the first thing anybody who's going to get into the job market at all has to figure out is, what do I love to do best? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what we were talking earlier. Passion, yeah. find your passion. Passion, passion, find your passion. There's an old adage that says you do be best what you best like to do. Mm -hmm. So find it and do it. So, so we shouldn't think one. about how much we're going to make. Well, if you're loving what you do, the chances are the money's going to come. Mm -hmm. Really, it's true. Just about any function, if you do what you love to do, you're going to move up in that function or that industry or company, whatever it is, if you love it. If you don't love to do it, you're not going to put the, the, the physical, mental, and emotional energy into it. You won't it. be as good at it. You'll just be pretty crummy at it. You're going to be dead-eyed and you're... Well, hey, the key is, and, and I'm sure my friends here will agree, the key is on Monday morning, can you get out of bed and say, wow, I can go to work. But you know what? That's a wonderful, you know, mm -hmm. scenario. And, That's right. And, you know, but a lot of times in life, we have to learn we really hate our jobs and we got to go do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, so, yeah, true. it's true. Well, it's true. It's true. Wait, sometimes That's, true. Yeah, That's when you got to take charge right. of your career. Take charge of your life. Take charge of your career. And if you're hating it, then go find what it is you want to do and go do it. It's a free country. Get some counseling. I'm available. <laughs> um, <laughs> sometimes we can't give up our day job. Sometimes, oh, you, oh, oh. sometimes you have to keep your day job to follow, you know, uh, you know yes, absolutely. Absolutely. no question, because, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's like the military. If, if, the, if the platoon leader says, we got to get from point A to point B, it may not be able to go in a straight line. You may have, you may have a, a, a river here, and you got to go over here to get through, a, a mountain range here, you got to go over here. You may have, uh, who knows what, a forest over there. So mm -hmm. sometimes you have to, you have to make some... You don't some... take the most direct route, That's and you've got to right. pay the bills on the way. Exactly. Right. <laughs> but Let me keep ask your you, focus. I keep understand your focus. a goal in mind. That's it. But what's your advice for Nathan? Okay, made some notes. Okay. Made some notes. Nathan Drywaller, you hate it. You hate it, right? <laughs> you don't like being a drywaller. So the first thing is, as we talked, what is it that you, in fact, I asked him, I said, what do you think about when you're just driving your car? What, do you th what kind of thing? He said, I love to help people. I said, all right, what mm -hmm. are we talking about here? Now, mm -hmm. high social service is really what we're saying. Mm -hmm. What kinds of things have you thought about in terms of helping people? He said, I would love to, to get involved in therapy, mm -hmm. helping people who are handicapped. Oh. Wonderful. So now we're, we're heading in the right direction. Mm -hmm. This is something he's going to love to do. And by the way, the esteem is going to go way up Absolutely. when those people, right, Jim? Absolutely. When those people, Jonathan, right? When he, when he starts uh, helping people and he sees those eyes open up mm -hmm. and say, maybe they can't talk. But how is he going to learn to Thank do this? You. Well, that's the key. Okay. I said to him, Nathan, the thing you want to do is to go to a local hospital. Mm -hmm. Really? It's Salt Lake City, right? Mm -hmm. Go to a local hospital. Start talking with the personnel people there, the human resource people, and say to them, or maybe you know somebody who works, I don't know, but just say, you know, I would really love, I have a passion. And when you say passion to a human resource person, they start to perk up. Right. And they'll listen to you. Right? Right. Oh, yeah. So I said to Nathan, go in and talk to a human being and say, look, here's what I'd love to do. Mm -hmm. Here are my skills. And by the way, Nathan and I are going to have some conversations on the phone to mm -hmm. really hone what his skills are so he can be articulate about that when he goes in and talks to them. And, and then talk with this human resource person and say, here's what I want to do. How? I will be willing to start at the bottom. Oh. I will be As willing to... As a volunteer? To, well, no. Paid. But hey, entry okay. level. Wait, paid. Got to pay the bills. Got to pay the bills, Long right? Way. That's key. Well, that's but what I start said. at entry level. Mm -hmm. Start at entry level. You're making some money. And then don't just stay there, but start to network. network. Start talking to people who you meet. Hey, you know, I'd really like to do this. I'd really like. What is your suggestion as to how I could move into that? And eventually, when he's making some money and he can pay for it, eventually Nathan then should probably go back to school and become a therapist. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So how and does that sound mm -hmm. to you, and you Shelley and Nathan? I'd like to do that. But mm -hmm. It doesn't pay. Doesn't it pay. Will. Right. It will. That's what I'm saying. Do it. It'll but in pay. the meantime, <clears throat> Nathan. Pay. Nathan, I know it doesn't pay. I know it doesn't pay. I've had a lot of work that didn't pay, and I didn't like it either. But if you start with it doesn't pay, you're reinforcing where you've already been. You've got to open up and say, I'll take a risk somewhere. And that's, in, and that's to your event. And you have some experience in this area with Shelley's daughter, 
Yes. And you also both were working, as I recall, in a, in a group home mm -hmm. f for kids that had disabilities. So you're not starting from scratch. I mean, you're an attractive, appealing person for the human resources person because you come with experience and passion. But yes, and that's wonderful, but we have to take a break now. <laughs> <laughs> How a man can pursue his passion and get a paycheck, and I want to find out about this one. We'll get back. <laughs> Our career counselor, David Bowman, is helping husbands who need jobs. David, you've advised Shelly and Nathan. Let's hear what your advice is for Kenneth. Well, Kenneth is a baseball player. And um, at your own admission, Kenneth, uh, it's probably slim to none chance that you're going to make the majors. And there just isn't a whole lot of money in the minors. And where where is the ceiling anyway in terms of the minors? So we talked about what Kenneth should do in addition to Keeping possibly that slim to none chance in a, in a focus. Don't ever give up that hope. Let's keep a focus on what your, what your real passion is again and figure out something you can do from home that involves you with baseball or with maybe some other sport that you might like to do. But involve yourself. Now, what, what is in fact we talked, and mm -hmm. he's got my card too, and I'm going to talk to him later okay, on about great. this. But what I said to him to do is to go talk to people that he knows in the baseball business and say, what do you need as a vendor? What, do you, what kind of stuff do you buy from Or companies? what do you need that you don't, you're not getting? Right. right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you exactly. can fill that. Oh, I that like that. That you can fulfill mm -hmm. from your home. Driving. They need drivers, just as in show business. You, you all have drivers. They, 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 same thing. Uh, who knows? Maybe there's something having to do with dry cleaning or something that you could rep. You could sell them some kind of dry cleaning service or something out of your home. Uh, all kinds of, of things you can do. But You're you, saying network again, aren't you? Exactly. Try to ask exactly. people what And get what creative. And yeah, get what? Cre sure, sure. But find out what it is they need and then do that out of your house. How does that sound to y'all? Sounds good. Sounds that sounds good. So yeah. it doesn't cost any money and you make money more money. Yes. That's right. <laughs> and you can make good bucks working out of your home. Ten million people, ten million Americans and are, also, are, are also in use, their own businesses. Out and of their use home. all really? that passion to make yourself, to have, have a work that you love instead of having a work that you hate. Yeah. That's right. Very good. Indeed. Okay. That's wonderful. How about Mark and Nicole? Mm. Okay. Mark and Nicole, I made some notes here. Mark and Nicole, interesting, uh, good comedian. He, Got some good jokes. Thank you very much for <laughs> a good session that we had. Wish you were an agent. Uh, <laughs> Mark is a little bit in denial. About what? Well, he doesn't want to give up that thing of comedian. Well, I'm not sure he should give it up. I, think I don't either. Very I don't either. But as an exclusive thing, I think you got to really look beyond that. And we talked about how he can again be a comedian, but maybe not working at the comedy store because who knows whether Mitzi's going to hire you next week or not. Point being, he needs a steady income. Here is a way you can get some steady income. There are things called corporate shows. Corporate shows are conventions that we call uh, Las them Vegas. We call them industrials. Industrials, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But they're hard to get too. I have to say, I wish well, I had a few more. But <laughs> but there are booking agents, and I told them yes, I would introduce true. them to a couple of booking agents that, that mm -hmm. might might help. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and. You can make a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred bucks a day in one of those booths. Here's the key. So, oh, okay. Here's the key. You've got all these booths in these convention centers. Okay, people are thousands of people are walking by. How do you get them in your booth? Be How funny. do you get these? Be funny. Be funny. <laughs> or be pretty. You know, I mean, they have uh, well, a lot of pretty ladies in there too. But be funny is certainly a way. And this is perfect. The other one, of course, is cruises, uh, ship cruises and stuff. They use comedians. Mm -hmm. uh, steady income. Now, so the only problem really with that is you can be away from home. Oh, you know. but also you got to find the right agent. That's that, sometimes that's well, so I'm hard to find the right agent. Exactly. I'm going to introduce some big time Hollywood agents. Well, that sounds great. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll get you. We'll you get heard you that one <laughs> What? Big time Hollywood agent. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know some. Sybil, uh, <laughs> you know some. <laughs> It's hard to get an agent. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get an agent. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get an agent. Agent, agent wants on somebody okay. that's already, uh, most agents want somebody that's already going to make them some money. Yeah, that's but right. I really respect <laughs> what you're saying, David, that you're going to introduce him to some people yeah, you know. Yeah, that would be wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.